Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. Back in 2017, I purchased a very old and quite famous wooden sailing yacht for the price of $1. And since then, I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Now I'm still in the UK, but I'm really happy to say that uh, my mission to get a new US visa was successful. And so very shortly, I'm gonna be hopping on the plane and heading back to Washington State, back to Port Townsend and really looking forward to uh, seeing the boat again, getting back into the swing of work and seeing what progress has been made uh, while I've been gone. Some of the guys have been still working, um, so we'll be catching up on uh, that work and various different projects around the boat and the workshop. Well, that was a pretty long journey, about 19 hours in total, uh, but a pretty good one. I had a whole row to myself on the plane, so I got a bit of sleep and some good views as well, um, and I got in uh, last night. Uh, I'm up early this morning because I'm jet lagged, and uh, so I'm down at the workshop. Uh, I'm gonna check out the boat and see what's been going on. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm back from the UK and catching up with what everyone's been up to. Have you had a nice time without me peering over your shoulder? Wow, well, it's been just uh, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions. We didn't know how long you'd be gone, whether or not you'd be back, what kind of souvenirs you'd bring us. <laughs> you told me you had the time of your life a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> well. Story changes, man. You know, and when I think about it more, it was a sad time in my life. All right, anyway, all right. Let's get on with it. What have you been up to? Um, I'm building out some more stuff in the aft cabin here. I got this little step. That's very nice. Where you can you can sit, you can lie, you can vomit into your bucket in some heavy weather. You can lean back, just take in... Uh, a little moment of zen. Right, you know? and helps you get into the bunk as well, right? Oh yeah, yeah, you can jump up into the bunk. I built this little bedside table here. That's very nice. Little sea rail fiddle deal and a little pop-up secret compartment. Wow, look at that. Hey, it's not very secret anymore. You just told 400,000 people where it is. Well, so, don't tell so, anybody. So thanks. <laughs> All right, what else have you been up to? I started building out the wet locker yeah. right behind you. Yeah, that's what that's what we're talking about. If you want to pan over. So this little bulkhead here isn't painted yet, so I'm allowed to kick it and... Sure looks painted. <laughs> well, it's just primer. So this is the beginning of the wet locker build out. Very nice. Uh, anything else? I fixed our 
plywood storage problem. Okay, boring. Next. I put four coats of varnish on the bulwarks. Wow. Yeah. Full coats. That's mm-hmm. great. Good George, you put another. George, you put another coat on, didn't you, George? I did. Yep. Cool. Well, let's cut to that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, let's do a manual fade out. Manual fade. All right. Put, just put your hand on the lens or something. Hey dude. Oh hey Leo. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, still alive. Still upright. Have you had a good few weeks? It's been great. Yeah? Oh yeah. Not having me around? Well, we've missed you, but <laughs> you know. Uh, I've been working on the rudder, finishing bolting it up, shaping it, uh, cutting the profile. Nice. All those things. Well, we're not going to actually show the rudder because uh, we're going to save that a whole video about it but um i can see it even if the viewers can't and it looks awesome so far <laughs> so yeah good work dude yeah thanks no i'm i'm pretty content with it uh but there's still so much to do yeah but that's how it is that's life that's life all right catch you in a bit all right let's go see what george is up to You down there, George? Yeah. Uh, I'm coming down. You had a good uh, few weeks without me? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, I went home as well, actually. Had a nice, fresh vacation. Saw some family, did some skiing. Wow, cool. Great. Uh, so, yeah, I know you haven't been here the whole time, but uh, what have you been working on recently? Well, I've been working a lot in the saloon area recently. I built this frame around the freezer to hold it in place, and now I am uh, building out the framing for the settee, the couch that will be around the table here. Okay, cool. So what does that consist of? Uh, right now we have this footboard, and I am making the uh, sole bearers for the, the uh, sole that will be at the base of the couch. So the seat will be more like up here. Right, and so we're having a step up, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, so that we can have the, the couch further outboard. Right. And that's what this piece of cherry is. Yeah. And do you want to show us how the um, fridge framing works? So the fridge framing consists of essentially a box around the fridge and then these supports that tie into the frames and it's designed to hold it steadily in place uh, and keep it from sliding around the bulb racks as well as this little catch here uh, for the drawer. Oh, that's satisfying. Yeah, that's my favorite part is the click. Uh-huh. Very good. And this is the freezer and then where's the fridge gonna be? Over here, right? Yes. Yeah, right here. yeah, that's right. We don't have it yet. But. Yeah. Cool. Very good. Thanks, George. Uh, now, while we're in here, we're going to go and meet Erica. My name's Erica. I do marine systems. I graduated from the Northwest Wooden Boat School last May, and I've worked on commercial fishing boats as a deckhand for the last eight years. On the Tally Ho, I've been working with Joe Smith, who has a lot of experience, and he is mentoring me through working on the systems. Um, right now, I'm installing a Blake's Levac head. So I just finished plumbing the raw water intake, and now I'm working on installing the vented loops. Great. Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. Pumped on plumbing.
Okay. I am just tickled with how this is going. <laughs> we are looking at the cockpit footwell plywood with the teak and yellow cedar overlay. Uh, when it's in the boat and finished, it's gonna look like a traditional cockpit. And it is a traditional cockpit, except that we thought it out and we'll be able to pull this out of the way in one piece to access tanks, engine, or even if you just want to stand up in the engine room one day. <laughs> On the bottom, we've got uh, a bunch of frames. Think of them as like small deck beams and they are fastened and epoxy filleted to the bottom. Uh, it's quite rigid. I was brave enough to stand in it and give it a test after the glue kicked. And I knew it was going to be rigid. I just wanted to be the first to stand in it. <laughs> it didn't make any horrible noises. No horrible noises. I mean, I, I squeaked and giggled about it. Yeah, that sounds like a horrible noise. That was probably pretty terrible. <laughs> and this is really fine plywood, marine grade plywood, with glass on the inside and sealed with epoxy everywhere else. Rough these out before I did the cove so that I could catch another cove piece coming down in the corners. And that should tie the piece together really well. And like I said, these corner pieces, the spacing just worked itself out. I'm going to act like we did it on purpose, but there's just a lot of really happy coincidences. exciting stuff. Yep. Little science experiment we got going on in here. Yeah, what on earth are you doing? Are you growing some mercury bacteria? This is, this is, yeah, this is where we're going to grow the algae that's going to fuel Tally Ho. <laughs> this is a vacuum bagging procedure. It'll suck them down into the glue. It looks like just a flimsy plastic bag, but once you start rem making a, removing all the air, it can transmit a good bit of clamping force. George did really great. I could not have done this today without George's help. <laughs> the time it takes to mix a pot of G-Flex, thickened G-Flex, and the time it takes to spread that out, like I definitely needed an assistant. And George is a great assistant. It's true. Um, <laughs> That's true. But it gave me the big bucks. <laughs> and he's humble. <laughs> Well, the cockpit footwell is looking really great. Uh, now we're going to check in with Pat. Uh, that's Pat Mayen, as opposed to Patty. <laughs> and Pat has been working on the main companionway hatch. Uh, and it's in the building behind me. Before we go and look at what it's like right now, we're going to catch up with footage of some of the work he's been doing over the last couple of months, starting with when the hatch was uh, on the boat, uh, well before I left for the UK. How's this hatch going so far, Pat? It's going okay. Yeah, it's taken a little longer than I thought, but then that's what everybody says about everything. <laughs> what? Good. Lovely. And then a little teak playhouse. So I had to pump about 20 gallons of oil out of the bilge and clean it all up. Out of the royal bilge. Yeah, so I got to pump the queen's bilges. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I really just walked in on the end of yeah, uh, yeah, that you story. Missed, you missed a good one. This is the origin story of Pat Mahan's belt work. Pumping out the queen's bilge. So the yard was owned by Mr. Tuff. <clears throat> But the foreman's name was Mr. Perfect. <laughs> Shut up. No, it's true. Mr. Perfect. Wow. That's what they call me. 
That's, yeah, that's kind of like our situation here. George is Mr. Tough. George? And, uh... Who's perfect? Clifton. Clifton. <laughs> yep. Fitting. So what's going on here, guys? Blowing up the roof. Measuring epoxy. On a scale. It's a Pat and Pat show. Making a companion way hatch today on the Pat and Pat show. Pat. Which one's the serious one and which one's the Joker? Patty. Who's the Joker? Good cop, bad cop. It's like a bad British comedy show. Like the Benny Hill show. Yeah. Se Pat, uh, Pat Senior is the one with the mustache. That's how you can tell it's part. <clears throat> I never would have guessed. I would have thought you, Patty, were the serious one. Patty? Pat and Patty. That's that's the show title. Pat and Patty. Yeah, it's very serious. I'm I'm actually supervising right now. Enough for the, that width. Mm -hmm. Matt, the hatch looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, are, you, are you pleased? Has it been a fun project so far? Yeah, it has. Um, it's not often uh, a boat builder gets to do this kind of work, uh, this uh, exterior joiner work or deck furniture, we call it. And working with Teak is, is a real pleasure too. So our next steps are finishing out the interior of it, a little more sanding and then seal it. Um, at the shop, I'm making the sliding hatch that goes here and the drop board. I'm going to recreate the old companion drop board. What do you got there, Patty? It's the Wando, the Wando 3000. Uh-huh. Newest in uh, shop technology, right here, baby. And <laughs> why? Be because this is just far too cumbersome. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Can you explain why we have to wind that so much? Because uh, to put it back into joiner mode, this bed has got to go all the way down to here. And it takes forever. It like, takes like a whole 20 seconds? It takes a whole like 15, 20 seconds, yeah. And I just don't have that time, you know? We're trying to build this boat. We're yeah. trying to launch this freaking boat, you know? Yeah, you don't have time to mess around. Oh no. <laughs> Nail <laughs> Is it broken? Don't film this right now. Get away from me. Oh my God, your pride and joy. That's like a death in the family has happened. You put so much love into that thing. And it was working 
so beautifully. This was honestly like the one thing that I did that I'm proud of <laughs> this year. In your life? <laughs> My life. Well, you just let me know when you got that sorted out and um, I'm sure it's saving you loads of time. Yeah. Ready? Wow, so much time saved. You need to get some more oil on that. Yeah. <laughs> that was the worst noise ever. Hey, Leo. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Very good. Welcome back. Thank you. This hatch is looking amazing. Well, it's pretty much done. Doing a little finish sanding on the hatch cover here. These are the keepers. They go on here. I'm not going to put them on now because I want to get finish on here. So they go on here. They slide into here and that's what keeps the hatch from jumping up. And this goes on here like this. So that's where it'll be in its closed position. Mm -hmm. And it slides back to the dam there. Mm -hmm. Very good, Pat. Well, I'm very impressed. It looks fantastic. It's really beautiful. Thank you. I think it'll uh, match the quality of the rest of the boat. Yeah. Well, the companionway hatch is looking really amazing now. Uh, and actually just today, Pat bought in the uh, weatherboard that goes in the front so we can see now it's the sliding part of the hatch and the weatherboard will go in here and stop the weather once the hatch closed and eventually there'll be a lock in here and we might have another weatherboard with louvers in to allow airflow when it's needed now the hatch isn't completely finished there's a few more little things to do uh, these bronze sliders these are actually off the original hatch um, we had them cleaned up and um, they're looking really good. Nice to have a part of the original hatch on here. You might also notice that this hatch overhangs a little bit when it goes out, when it's all the way open. Um, that is a slight modification from the original and that's because we've made this opening a bit longer uh, to make it easier to get in and out of the boat because of the pitch of our companionway stairs. Now it's not ideal having the hatch overhanging at the back, but there's probably going to be a deck box or something underneath that overhanging part so that uh, it's not going to be able to easily trap lines and so on. So generally really, really pleased with this. I think it looks fantastic and uh, yeah, lots of exciting stuff going on at the moment. We were able to catch up with most of the crew, uh, not everybody. Um, but very soon we're going to be going down to the Maritime Centre and catching up with the amazing work that they've been doing down there on the masts and the other spars. We're going to be getting the diesel tanks in. Uh, Nick's going to get back. Uh, we're going to catch up with Bob um, and all sorts of other stuff. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It does make a huge difference and it means that we're able to keep on doing this work and I'm able to keep on making and editing these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.